What's up, everybody? Thank you all for tuning in to my 44th episode of Project Renaissance Man. Uh, tonight's subject is going to be on uh, problem solving. Uh, because a lot of us, this is usually a daily occurrence, you know. Um, we're all fighting something. Uh, I don't know anybody that's not fighting something. Uh, but if you're not fighting anything external, you're definitely, most likely, fighting something internal. No matter what. There's, there's always a fight on our hands. And so I'm going to give you guys four pointers on how you can better combat these problems and how to better um, prep yourself so that you can problem solve more efficiently and not expend so much energy, you know, doing it um, and, and become more successful in doing that. So... The very first one is to seek out things that I like to call spirit lifters, things that lift your spirits. So whether that be a cup of coffee, a piece of music, um, a nice little walk, a hike, um, spending time with somebody you really care about and connecting with people and, and further advancing uh, deep, meaningful connections with others, um, all these things. They're each an example of some things, of agents that lift your spirits. And so when you do this, of course it helps push you into a happier state or a more content state. And when you're more content and happy, it's much easier to um, think positively, which is what you're aiming for. You want to be in a positive mindset when you're addressing issues and you're, you're problem solving. Because when we're in our negative states of mind and we're kind of very pessimistic, um, that's when we are at a major disadvantage when it comes to uh, solving problems. So um, we want to be in a positive state of mind or something very close to it. And through relying on these spirit lifters, it helps a lot. Um, all it takes for me to put me in a good mood from the start of the day is a good cup of coffee or a um, a really good piece of music and, and I almost every day I get both of them and probably a large amount of both uh, the coffee I should cut back one but the music you know listen to that all day you know it's, it's a beautiful thing um, it tickles the soul the second pointer I have for you guys to help um, with the problem-solving process is to analyze your problems. Take a step back, breathe. Um, it's so easy to act on emotion and especially easy to adopt the, the, uh, the victim mindset. Um, we can't adopt that mindset. When you become, when you put yourself in the victim role and you see yourself as a victim, what happens is you hand over your power you forfeit your power, whatever power you have. You basically say, I'm not in control. It was this that um, caused me to be where I'm at. Or it was this that caused this to happen to me. Instead of saying, I can change things. I can improve my situation. The energy is going towards casting blame and fixating on that and, and constantly um, just being wrapped up in that and consumed by it until we have no energy left. And rather than do that, we should be taking our energy and applying it to um, problem solving and being rational. That way we're, we're not expending nearly as much energy trying to fix the problem and we're working towards fixing that problem as opposed to casting the blame or coming up with excuses, uh, which get us nowhere. In fact, oftentimes they perpetuate the issues because we end up sitting still hoping that some white knight's going to ride in and save us or that some miracle is going to happen um, because it's almost like we're not taking responsibility for our own situations. We're saying this did this to me and so it's something else's job to get me out of here. It's totally handing yourself over, surrendering. It's surrender and that's something you don't want to do. You want to be in control. You want to say, I'm the pilot. I'm the one steering my ship. I'm the one in the cockpit of my plane. You know, I'm in control. The third pointer I have for you guys is, believe, is to believe in your ability. 
Um, know that you are capable, that you can do things, you can make change. So the, the second pointer feeds into this one. Um, with you taking control and, and acknowledging that you have control and that whatever decisions you make, you got to be willing to accept the aftermath, the results of your decisions. So if they're unintended results, if they're results that are undesirable, unfavorable, even so, this is very hard for a lot of us. We got to own them. We got to say, yes, I made the decision that got me here. It, it's a practice of accountability. You know, and it also reaffirms that we are in control. Even if we made a decision that had unintended results, um, we're still not sacrificing or surrendering our control, you know, or our acknowledgement over control. Um, and the fourth pointer I have for you guys is to have a high level of belief that things are going to become better, you're going to improve them, um, but don't have super high unreasonable expectations. Huge difference here. Having belief is just feeling like this is going to work out. It's envisioning that something's going to work out and that you're going to find a way to make it happen. Expectations, it's almost like you're not wholly taking it into your own hands. It's a different way to see things. It's, it's almost like just hoping that things are just going to happen. And you're hoping for the best. But when you believe, there's a little more power to that than, than when you just simply hope. When you're believing, you really feel like it's going to happen. You know, you, you just you visualize it happening. And when we envision, this is like the whole laws of attraction thing. We can envision to the point of something becoming a reality. And so that's what you want to do. Um, whereas if we just have high expectations, we're really hoping and being hopeful that something's going to happen in our favor. And the problem that arises when it doesn't happen the way we want it to happen and we expect it to happen is we become devastated, we become discouraged, um, we feel left down, we feel like we were treated unfairly, and therefore this can really spiral us into that um, victim mentality that I was speaking of, that, that victim mindset. So uh, there are the four pointers I have for you guys. Uh, thank you all for tuning in to my 44th episode of Project Renaissance Man. If you guys feel you have benefited from this video and you have enjoyed watching it, please be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, Give me a like, and I will see you all on Saturday. Later.